Hi, and welcome. You're listening to the X22 Report. My name is Dave, and this is episode 1749A, and today's date is December 24th, 2018, and the title of the episode is Trump Points the Finger at the Central Bank, Rothschild Responds. Now, before we get started, I just want to know if anyone remembers watching the old westerns when the cowboy or the gunslinger would swagger up to the bar, sling a coin across the counter, and ask for another. Chances are that coin would have been a silver dollar. They used real silver coins back then. Between 1878 and 1921, it would have been the Morgan silver dollar, but they went out of circulation when the price of silver went up. They're getting rarer by the day. The Morgan silver dollar is a great coin to start a collection of. So if you want something different and unusual to buy someone for a holiday gift, the Morgan silver dollar might be just the thing. Go to HistoricSilverCoins.com and for a limited time, save $5 per coin with the offer code X22. Let's get into the economic collapse financial news. Here we are at Christmas Eve and we can see the stock market. It is tumbling like there's no tomorrow. And those people who are celebrating Christmas, happy Christmas to all of you. Take some time with your family, relax and enjoy the day. We see the market is tumbling today. And Mnuchin was out there and he was trying to calm the situation saying liquidity is fine don't worry about it then he went off and he decided to go speak to the sixth the six biggest banks JP Morgan Bank of America Goldman Sachs Morgan Stanley Wells Fargo and Citigroup and he spoke to them about what is going on here and you can see that Mnuchin is a Goldman Sachs boy. Remember, Trump has people in certain positions because of their skill set. What is Mnuchin's skill set? Well, he can work with the big banks. He knows how to manipulate. He needs him in there for a specific time period. Is he going to keep him there forever? Most likely not. Just like we've been seeing with other individuals, Trump is using part of the central bankers, the deep state, to keep the illusion alive that the economy is doing well. Now, it looks like Mnuchin might not have had clearance to talk to the big banks about the plunge protection, and we see that he might have been doing this on his own. We'll have to wait for confirmation on this, but it seems like he might have been just doing this. Now, once again, we need to remember this entire plan. The entire plan is to wake up the American people to make them understand what the central bank is, who they are, what they do. And this is why Trump is continually out there calling out the Fed. And this is going to spread across the world. Actually, today he tweeted out the following. The only problem our economy has is the Fed. They don't have a feel for the market. They don't understand necessary trade wars or strong dollars or even democratic shutdowns over borders. The Fed is like a powerful golfer who can't score because he has no touch. He can't putt. He's letting the American people know that the Fed is the problem. That when everything starts to fall apart and everything comes crashing down, it will be the central bank that is responsible for all of this. Now, we know who controls the central banking system, the Rothschilds. For hundreds and hundreds of years, they have controlled the central banking system. And today, David Rothschild tweeted out, Just F up. Seriously, every time President Trump talks about the Fed, the markets tumble. He needs the market to stabilize to save what is left of his presidency. Is he so effing stupid he cannot even manage just shutting the F up and doing nothing? You think there's panic in these individuals? Of course there is. We know that they're nervous and afraid of what is coming. Because once they lose control, their entire system falls apart. So they're very nervous about losing this control. And what we're seeing here is that they're responding now to Trump. What do you think Trump is going to do once everything starts to fall apart? Once the market continually plummets like we've been seeing? 
once real estate starts to fall apart, he's been telling everyone what he's going to do. He's going to point the finger at the Fed. He's going to blame the Fed. He has control over the narrative. He has the power over the Fed. Remember that clause that's in the Federal Reserve Act. He just needs to find cause. And he needs the American people behind him. Once he has the American people behind him, once he shows the American people, cause will be very, very easy. And remember, timing is everything. Now, I want to go back a little bit to H.R. 5404. This was introduced into the House of Representatives. This is on March 22nd, 2018. And this was to define the dollar as a fixed weight of gold. Now, this doesn't mean that this bill is going to pass, but this is very interesting because this is going to lead into other bills. Now, do we need all these bills? No. We have the Constitution. But everyone's thought process is moving in the right direction. Let me just read part of this so you can understand what they're thinking about and what they're trying to say here to kind of try to wake everyone up. The United States dollar has lost 30% of its purchasing power since 2000 and 96% of its purchasing power since the end of the gold standard in 1913. By the way, this is what's in this bill. This is what I'm reading right now. Under the Federal Reserve 2% inflation objective, the dollar loses half of its purchasing power every generation or 35 years. American families need long-term price stability to meet their household spending needs, save money, and plan for retirement. The Federal Reserve policy of long-term inflation has made American manufacturing uncompetitive, raising the cost of United States manufactured goods by more than 40% since 2000 compared to less than 20% in Germany and France. Between 2000 and 2010, United States manufacturing employment shrunk by one-third after holding steady for 30 years at nearly 20 million jobs. The American economy needs a stable dollar, fixed exchange rates, and money supply controlled by the market, not the government. Actually, I should say not the Federal Reserve. The gold standard puts control of the money supply with the market instead of the Federal Reserve. The gold standard means legal tender defined by and convertible into certain quantity of gold. Under the gold standard through 1913, the United States economy grew at an annual average of 4%, one third larger than the growth rate since then and twice a level since 2000. The International Gold Exchange Standard from 1914 to 1971 did not provide for United States dollar convertible into gold and therefore helped cause the Great Depression and stagflation. The Federal Reserve's trickle-down policy of expanding the money supply with no demand for it has enriched the owners of financial assets but endangered the jobs, wages, savings of blue-collar workers. Restoring America middle class prosperity requires change in mon monetary policy authorized to Congress in Article 1, Section 8, Clause 5 of the Constitution. Define the dollar in terms of gold. The Secretary of the Treasury, in this act referred to as the Secretary, shall define the dollar in terms of a fixed weight of gold based on that day's closing market price of gold. And Federal Reserve Banks shall make Federal Reserve notes exchangeable with gold at the statutory gold definition of the dollar. Now, this bill most likely will not pass, but this is telling us that they recognize there's a problem with the Federal Reserve and the currency that they are using compared to when we were on the gold standard. And it's showing how the Federal Reserve has destroyed the economy and destroyed the currency, destroyed manufacturing, destroyed the jobs, and it's showing everyone that it has not benefited the American people. This is why Trump is out there tweeting about the Fed, saying the only problem our economy has is the Fed. This is why Rothschild's out there telling the president to shut up because they don't want the people to understand what is really going on. Who cares about the market? It's manipulated anyhow. They can make the market go up if they want, but think about the plan. How do you move the people 
out of the control of the Federal Reserve, out of the central banking system. You need everyone on the same page. You need all thinkers pointed at the Fed. And how do you do that? How do you wake enough people up so they understand who is responsible? Well, you hit them where it hurts. You hit them in the wallet. Once people are hitting their wallet, they want to know who is responsible. Why did this happen? And that's the plan here. That's what Trump is doing. He's dropping these little breadcrumbs. And as he continually comes out and calls out the Fed and other central banking establishments, and then eventually the IMF, the biz, the Rothschilds, because it will get to that level. And once it gets to that level, and as we approach that level, you're going to hear the central bankers scream and yell in panic. And Trump, the patriots, will continue to point the fingers, say they are responsible. Look, they just raised the rates again. They are responsible. They're destroying the market. They're destroying the housing market. They're destroying this. He will have economists come out and show you that the Fed is responsible for everything that is happening. This is part of the plan. You need to destroy their system. You need to show the world they are responsible for what is happening. Because once you do that, you have complete and utter control. And the central bank, they will not be able to respond. They'll try. They'll scream and yell and panic. They'll do whatever they have to. But the narrative will be controlled by Trump and the patriots. The central bank is doomed. Timing is everything. Listen, everyone, thanks a lot for listening. Be well, be safe, and especially be prepared. Thanks a lot. 